Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. I'm in Taipei, Taiwan, and I am sitting down to eat lunch at Din Tai Fong, which is an institution in Taiwan, uh, especially famous for their Xiaolong Bao, which are the Taiwanese soup dumplings. This is not the original location. I'm at the location in Taipei 101, and they also have quite a few locations around the world. And as just a quick disclaimer, I have already been to Din Tai Fung, but I ate there in Bangkok. So uh, everybody says that it is better in Taipei, in Taiwan. So I'm excited to eat lunch here and I can't wait for the soup dumplings to arrive. One of the most iconic features about this restaurant at any location worldwide is that they appear to uh, employ a small army of uh, people in white hats and white uh, jackets that look like they are medical researchers, but in reality, they are making dumplings. And so to make the Xiaolong Bao, they take a piece of dough, they roll it out into a wrapper, and then they put the pork mixture in the middle, and then they wrap it up and kind of twist the top so it has that beautiful little uh, crescented top and then they steam them in a bamboo basket and when they are steaming that's when the juice of the pork and the oils are released into that little bag of a wrapper and that's where the soup comes from so it's all the hot pork oil and juices and they have the menu written in both Chinese and English and they also have a handy guide for how to eat Chao Long Bao uh, So I'm gonna follow the steps. There are four steps. The first step says that you got to put some soy sauce and vinegar into your ginger b dipping bowl sauce and then you, step number two is to take the dumpling and dip it into the sauce step number three is to put the dumpling into your spoon and then poke a small hole in it to release the soup from the dumpling. And step number four, I, I believe, is my favorite step, which is to one bite the entire dumpling and the condiment all in one and just enjoy, savor the goodness. Well, one part soy sauce and three part vinegar. Okay, so the sauce is one part soy sauce and three parts vinegar, and then those are strips of thin ginger. Thank you. And now we just gotta wait for our dumplings to arrive. Our first tray of Xiaolong Bao has arrived and you can see they are just piping hot and steaming. Oh, these are just beautiful. Just look at those little grooves. Okay, I'm gonna pick one of these guys up and I'm gonna do my best to follow the instructions written on the instruction card. Oh, you can just feel that, that juice inside of it. Put that into the sauce. Kind of whirl it around a little bit. Grab some of that ginger. And I'm gonna put the entire thing into my spoon. You gotta be careful, you do not wanna pop that dumpling wrapper. Okay, now I'm gonna poke a hole. And that should release, if I can. And that should release all the juice. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna one bite it. That is a, a mouthful of pure glory. That is delicate and extremely well balanced. Absolutely sensationally delicious. The wrapper is, it's actually pretty thin. I think I've had some that are that are less thin or more thick, thick wrapper, but that's a that's a pretty thin wrapper. And then it just explodes with all that porky juice in it. Um, it's not too salty, but just has a really wonderful flavor. And then I like that just that hint of soy sauce and vinegar and the ginger which gives it the ginger is really light just a really light ginger flavor oh well, that is just a sensational dumpling and now moving on this is uh, noodles topped with pork and little pieces of tofu there are green onions and are these soybeans i mixed that up thoroughly and now all the toppings are on the bottom but let me take a bit of this and put it into my bowl Oh, that's long strands of noodles. And then I gotta get all those goodies from the bottom there. All right. Mm. Oh, that is very good as well. It's very, very delicate. 
Uh, the flavors are not too strong. I think that's what I really like. Nothing is over salty, but everything is really well balanced and just focuses on the ingredients. In between bites of noodles, I'm just gonna grab the top of the pyramid pickle. Mm. Wow, that's extremely crispy. Mm. And very light in flavor, um, juicy, just with a little bit of a kind of like oily, chili flavor to it. Okay, next up their house salad. Oh yeah, I think there are mung bean noodles in there. Okay, and bean sprouts. That again has a very light flavor to it. It's a little bit sour, and I think I can taste sesame oil in that as well. And then for vegetable, I ordered amaranth greens, and they are just stir-fried with some garlic, I think. Oh yeah, oh, there's a little piece of garlic. This is, let me grab the top off there. Mm. Yeah, again, that is very lightly seasoned, but just very good. Um, I can taste that toasted garlic, and then it almost, it, it's kind of like spinach, but less slimy. <laughs> These are just beautiful little creations. Oh, such a delicate mouthful of glory. Put it into my spoon. This time I think I'm not gonna pop the wrapper and I'm just gonna pour in some of that vinegar. Man, I'm gonna need a lot more ginger. That ginger. I'm, I'm a crazy ginger fan. Okay, and actually the, I need a little, I'm just gonna do this method. Oh, okay. Oh, that's gonna be a good bite. I'm cheating a little bit on the steps, but I think it's gonna be good. That was a lot of vinegar in that bite. It hit me in the back of the throat, but that is amazing. So that's it for lunch. Thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. And also, if you love Shaolong Bao, I'd love to hear from you. And thank you again for watching this video. See you on the next video.